Logan, and welcome to me doing the reaction. And thank to Jurassic uh, World, the uh, Cab Cotaishos. Today's episode 30. It's titled Rude Awakening. Um, what could that be? Rude Awakening. Isn't the meaning of Rude, of rude Awakening is uh, like literally what it means? It's like when you are sleeping and... You know, you, you're awakened abruptly, you know, like, hey, I was taking a nice ass nap, but then you woke my ass up. Like, like when the garbage truck shows up and stuff or to get bad news. I don't know. Or uh, I know there's another meaning to it as well. Like, uh, like a rude awakening. Let's say um, you have this thought process, this, 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 this uh, definition for a thing or ideal. And then someone else is, uh. Someone else teaches you that nope, you're wrong. This is this is the lesson. You get <laughs> an awakening. I don't know. I, I literally had to Google this so I could be educated about it. So it's uh it's uh, Google tells me it is uh surprising and unpleasant discovery that one is mistaken. Okay, cool. Uh, what does that correlate to the show? Who's going to get a rude awakening? Is it going to be our kid characters? Is it going to be Dr. Turner? Uh, is it going to be someone else? I guess we'll have to wait and find out. So let's do the reaction. All right, here we go. All right, she's got to be looking at the little square Rice Krispie that the T-Rex was eating. You know what I would have wanted, at least out of the characters, is... A change of clothes, you know, a new outfit. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, that's her notebook, right? Uh, I, I don't know. What the fuck? Are you out of your mind? You're dead. This has got to be a nightmare. Yep. These are the type of dreams I thought these kids would have. It's drop by remote. Oh, what would happen if one of the kids were eat that? Oh, wow. You can eat that and not feel any pain? You can't wait that long, girl. You've been here for six months. Uh, this guy's gonna have a plan, huh? Yo, I'm. Yeah, yo, what's up? That that's so true. Why the hell does she always gotta outrun the dinosaurs? Alright, and Kenji has COVID over here. Oh my god, Kenji's gonna wake him up, huh? Then again, how small of a noise is a friggin' cough. So I don't understand that they're the Matacors forcing the T Rex to fight, but yet they're also feeding them. But they're not, I don't know. I got questions. Why is she getting so scared? Oh, are you? Uh, what? Um, 
Robot. The robot's here to destroy. Are you, I, this invisible wall stuff, this is so silly. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. They open a door and then it's, uh, yeah, shocking. Oh, wow, spooky scary. What is she doing? Oh, now they're going to be stuck in whatever room they're in now. Which is so extremely mad. Oh, come on! What is this? They're in the freaking snow world now. What is, is this? like a video game? Is this like Mario 64 where they jump in the map? Wait, not the map. The art. The painting. What am I talking about? What is this? <sighs> oh, oh, beautiful. I did about the kids just know how to drive them. Ugh. <laughs> Why is she having nightmares all of a sudden? I just got a little crush. Weird, huh? Got that. Back. Phoenix? Wait, what? What is that thing doing here? Well, it's not going to survive in the cold. Are you kidding me? It doesn't even work that way. Well, yeah, you can't just volunteer everyone. Sure, I'm not gonna let oh, my lord. Shit, I would be the one kid who'd be like, well, fuck you guys, I'm getting on that plane. What happened now? Why? What? The robots showed up? Are you kidding me? Oh, are you kidding me? I just... Oh my god! Oh, oh, no she did not. What are you doing? What is going on, please? You know, out of all the characters who I thought would be the, the most bravest, it's the one that's like going through some flaws right now. Really weird. I have a theory as to why I think she's going through what she's going through. Maybe she's going through some trauma, obviously, with her parents. Maybe, and an, and I, oh my god, I can't say this. Anniversary, you know? Shit. 
Shut up. You ain't my mom. <laughs> and the plant's gone. Bye bye, bitches. No, oh, you didn't do the right thing, you idiot. You did not do the right thing. I knew it. You are dangerous. Fine. I may have caught a little something there, but I think if you went beyond your limits, you wouldn't be caught doing it again. Dad, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. I'm fine. I just had a nightmare. Not okay at all. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, but you know whose fault that is? That's Darius's fault. You should blame him and be like, yo, you ain't part of the squad anymore. You're a terrible leader. You gotta love the fact that Ben and Darius weren't part of that. Who the hell is that? All right, um, uh, I'm I'm disappointed at the direction of the show and where it's going, and it, the show taking liberties the way it's doing. Uh, I'm gonna come full circle with my little critique here but uh the thing that really annoys me is the fact that you know there's camouflage walls whatever and the kids go through a hallway and then they go into a room and it's desert and it's it's freaking the amazon and the, the freaking jungle or whatever and then oh no it's it's the arctic it's ice and how are there these rooms these how is this island sequestered like this with with different you know i don't know <laughs> how do you call that temperatures scenery i guess um all right a part of me can understand that okay this could actually happen because it's manicure and experiments and one part of the island is this and the other part of the island is that but i don't buy it i don't buy into that because it's like come on show you were pretty smart and fun with, oh my god these kids are trapped in an island full of dinosaurs and how will they survive and stuff that was pretty smart and, and chaotic and just adventurous and cool right and then now this just doesn't feel cool this feels very um I hate to say the word i hate to be that person it feels for children it feels for kids it doesn't feel for me and that's why i'm like Ugh. No, I can buy season one through three, but I can't buy season four. I feel like this is the season where the show jumped the shark, you know, and, and this is where I'm going to come full circle with my complaint here is that I wish the show, or at least season four, I wish that it was with new characters because then we would have stayed with the mindset of um, the kids are in a boat somewhere, yada, yada, yada. And who knows, maybe eventually in season four, the, these characters that we've thrown with can eventually show up again and be like, oh my God, they've been stuck here the whole time still. Uh, if you would have implemented new characters, then, then you could have created this unreality of, of, you know, Arctic, jungle, desert, whatever. I just, I don't buy into this. And it, it just, it feels like fodder. It feels like, padding it just it feels like elongating a show you know because people actually liked it i feel like the, I, I, I don't know i don't know those are my two cents now on the flip side uh things that i did enjoy in today's episode was um uh, jasmina and her um sudden like i don't know grievance her nightmares her emotions are just uh, polluting her at the moment and it just it makes sense for 
a character to go through this and i love the fact that they the show had balls to even put that out there where she even talked about how yo i don't even know what normal is anymore even if i were to go back home i don't know what normal is i'm still gonna be friggin' fucked up you know like i'm still going to be tethered uh in fear and i love the show i love the fact that the show confronted that that's that's extremely brave and i also like the fact that all the other characters um have said the same thing like yo we, we have nightmares too and you know we, we try to keep it to ourselves because we just don't want to fault the team you know we have to be in unison but it's so awesome while these characters were having that conversation there was only two characters that were not a part of it and i don't know if that will play into the show but ben and darius were not part of that conversation about having nightmares and mind you these are these are the two characters that are usually creating a lot of flaws in the team so i wonder if this is going to be that realization of like yo i'm not having fun like you guys you know this shit's not fun with bumpy and whatever like i don't care about any of this i want to get out of this island and you guys are always preventing that from happening so am i am i too wishful thinking that the characters could have a an adult conversation like that i don't know but it's exciting to fight out. So, all right, that about does it for my video. As always, like it, subscribe, leave me feedback in the comment section, and God bless you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.